All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm gonna be taking us to my crazy leg workout. I know I haven't like done a leg workout on this channel, but first one here it is. I know you guys have been requesting it. Uh, right now, I'm currently making my subs. So I got Alpha Lions Pre, Lions Blood. I'm taking a scoop and a half of this because it's leg day. I'm trying to get as much energy as possible, and then a scoop of Pump Mango Vianic. Stack these two together. It's actually really fire. Code Jason if you guys want to save 15% off. And then I'm also taking Burn 2O. So basically this is a thermogenic fat burner and it makes you sweat a ton. So leg day, sweat equals a crazy workout. And it's almost the summertime, so it's good for shredding. But yeah, I think we hit 1K. So basically I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for you guys. So I'm gonna be giving away three $50 raw gear gift cards to one of you guys. So three people get the chance to win. All you gotta do is like this video, comment down below, giveaway, subscribe to the channel, and then send me a screenshot that you're subscribed to my Instagram at jasont.fit. Yeah, just shoot me a DM with the picture and then you're automatically entered to win. And then the winner is gonna be announced in the next video. So good luck to everyone who enters. Thank you guys for 1K. Appreciate all the love and support. But yeah, let's get right to the workout. All right guys, sorry for the weird voiceover. I wanted to keep this workout somewhat raw, but the audio for these first few clips were corrupted so I couldn't use it. Before I start my workouts, I always stretch, roll out, get everything loosened up before I start my first exercise. For the first leg exercise, I started off with abductors. I did four sets, one warm-up set, lightweight, 15 to 20 reps, just to get the feel of the movement and get my glutes warmed up. After the warm-up set, I did three working sets, increase the weight each set. As you can tell, I'm doing slow and controlled reps keeping constant tension on my glutes. I'm not really counting the reps, I'm pretty much just repping it out, doing as many reps as I can, going close to failure. After each set, your glutes should be on fire. Second exercise, you're gonna be doing lying hamstring curls. Whenever you guys do this, make sure you guys keep your butt down as much as possible and don't overextend your knees. Have a slight bend to keep the tension on it. Go slow on the negatives. One, two seconds squeeze up top. And I did a little bit of partials at the end. Hey. Guys, like, my leg genetics are so weird because, like, I don't think I have quad genetics, but, like, my hamstrings are, like, kind of fat. I just don't have that outer, outer quad, but, you know, you get what you can't have. Wait, no, 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 no. How do you say you get what you want? No, nah, whatever. Last set. Let's get it. So, you 
guys pretty much can see like the gist of this workout. So we're basically just re-exhausting the legs before we start any compound leg pressing movements. After I started like doing it this way, my legs and pump has been insane. The muscle endurance and everything is just like off the roof. So it's good to change things up. You don't always have to pre-exhaust your legs before you know you train your legs. You can switch it up sometimes, but after you know doing leg extensions, hamstring curls, and etc., all that, and then you do leg press machines, it's a different feeling. It honestly just mentally gets you stronger because you're like, yo, my legs are so tired, and then once after you start doing the pressing movements, it's just like a mental clarity thing like you just you're just like mentally stronger into your workouts and everything and the pumps are insane legs are already pumped up and then you're just doing more compound movements i'm telling you this is like the best way to grow your legs but yeah we're gonna start on leg extensions i'm not gonna lie this this machine is weird So the other machine didn't feel right. So you switch to a different one. Hey, don't be that guy getting mad at people walking through the like walking through the cameras and stuff. You know, be considerate. No one cares. You don't own the gym. Don't be that person. First leg press exercise, we're gonna do a hack squat. We're gonna go fairly heavy on this, so let's get to it. You guys are probably already seeing this with the band thing. You know, it's not really cheating, it's just, whenever you guys do hack squats, sometimes it might hurt your knees a little bit on the bottom portion of the press, so it just keeps the pressure off the knees. So every time you guys do any pressing movement, you guys want to grow the quads, make sure your knees go above your feet. Let's have that knee flexion. Knee flexion is key in growing your legs. So go all the way down, full range of motion, get that nice stretch, and then press up. You know, don't lock out your knees, but you know, squeeze your quads after the press. Bring on the knee sleeves because I'm getting old. Always use protection, guys, you know? Start the working set. We're gonna go pretty heavy. Light work.
stuff. I think we got like five plates right now. So probably gonna go up to six or seven, but we'll see. I think that's like our top working set. Then we're gonna drop down to like four plates, rep that out for 12, but tempo, good form, full range of motion. As a finisher, I'm gonna keep my foot placement close just to target more of the quad. it for the hack squat. Next exercise, I'm gonna be doing some barbell RDLs. I usually alternate between dumbbell and barbell, but barbell's fun too. Load the weight, about to get right to after I stay hydrated. you do these, make sure the weight is all on your heels and then you have that butt hinge, you know, you're pushing your hips back, not using your lower back. After you feel that little stretch on the hamstrings, you go up and then go slow on the negatives, repeat. Final exercise. I'm not gonna go too heavy. We're not gonna go too light. Right in the middle. This is just solely on like a finisher and focus on full range of motion, squeeze, and the knee flexion. Knee flexion is key if you want to grow your quads. Yeah, 12 to 15 reps, three sets. Oh. <sighs> 
one more set to go. Yo, my legs are dead. Pretty much gonna be the wrap of the leg workout. I'm literally dead, but in a good way. My legs are pumped. Can't even flex them. Like, yeah. I'm like getting cramps. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to do a little bit of cardio, 30 minutes of cardio, and then see you guys after that. Alright guys, not gonna lie to you. I did cardio for like 10 minutes and I was like, nah, screw it, I can't do it. <laughs> My legs are just too freaking dead right now. Uh, I'll probably do cardio like later tonight. But yeah, that's pretty much a wrap on this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this leg workout. Try this out, try this workout out. Let me know how you guys like it. Um, it's something different, you know, I usually switch it up sometimes when you guys train make sure you guys give it your best you know give it 110 percent doesn't matter if it's a first set last set or whatever you know if you get six to like or like four reps that's fine at least you gave it your all hypertrophy is not always the key if you want to grow it's always about lifting heavy lifting intensely like i said before intensity is key again i'm doing a giveaway three $50 raw gear gift cards. All you gotta do is like this video, comment down below, give away, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and send me a screenshot of you subscribe to my Instagram at jasont.fit, and you'll be automatically entered in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys wanna support me, you guys can use code Jason for Mercozo, raw gear, and Alpha Line. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys, peace.